So as you guys can see, it's another shitty day here in Connecticut, but that's all good because today I get to install some new parts on this thing right here. Before I get started though, I have to load the SI up. I need to grab like all my wrenches and shit. Last but not least, can't forget these two. And we are off. They actually have to go to Advanced Auto Parts. I gotta get brake fluid. All right, so guys, we just arrived at Advanced. I'm gonna run in real quick. All right, so guys, we're about to get a brake bleeder kit here. They don't sell the hoses individually, so it's only eight bucks, so I'm just gonna pay that for that. And uh, this should do the trick. We're gonna grab some brake fluid. So we're at the shop. I'm gonna start getting going on this thing here. So guys, the first thing you wanna do in this process is pretty much get this whole intake. You gotta take this whole intake out. You want this whole area so that you can access into the back here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the air box, uh, the hose, including the lower hose right down there, if you guys can see. Go ahead and remove this sensor at the top here. Just take that off. There's a little clamp behind it. Plug it there, kind of fold it back. Remove this um, clamp here, unloosen that. That's a flathead screwdriver. In your air box here, you're gonna have these little tabs. Go ahead and take those out. There's six of them. So here's your air filter. Next, we're gonna take out these. There's three 10 millimeters. So you have so one, two, and then there's three right in the back there, down, down right in between there, right there. The box is out. Next, we're gonna get this, this hose right here out of the way. So what you're gonna do is there's a little nut right here and it's a five and a half millimeter. So you're gonna simply use your ratchet on that, unloosen that, so you can easily just slide this off, just like that. I know it's kind of hard to see this, but I'm just simply getting all the uh, clutch fluid out of the reservoir. The reservoir is drained. Right, so coming into the car here, and this tight little floor, under here, I'm gonna try my do the best to film this, guys. You have one 12 millimeter right there, and on the other back side of that, let me get the light over here. And then you have another 12 mil back there up in the corner, along with a cotter pin that we have to take out. Guys, we got this little cotter pin out, and that cotter pin is out. There's a little black pin right there. You can go ahead and push that out. And you can grab it from the back side. The piece that came out, this frees the clutch master cylinder from the actual clutch pedal itself. There is the... 12 mil right back here. Easiest way to get both of those out is to have a, well, you need a deep socket, 12 mil, with a smaller extension and a smaller 3 8 drive ratchet. So before you take the clutch master cylinder out, there's a 10 millimeter here that's a bracket holding this whole assembly on, as well as ones right under this white clip. There's two 10 mil. So working on these other two right now, guys. All right, so as you guys can see, the bracket is loose. So down underneath all these wires, see if I can get my hand down there. No, I can't, my hand's so fat. But right there, with the two 12 millimeter bolts, you can see the line right there leading into that. That is your slave cylinder connected right onto the clutch fork. I'm actually, I think I'm gonna have to take out this piece right here for the intake. 
because I'm not gonna be able to get a wrench in there with an extension. Guys, I decided I'm taking the whole battery out. I just, I was gonna try to do this, but there's way too much shit in the way. And uh, so I decided to take this off, guys. It's a terminal bolts are 10 millimeter. You have one of these on the negative and one on the positive. Take those off, but take this off first. This is your uh, battery support, both 10 millimeters too. And uh, the battery should just come right out. So now that the battery's out, we can go ahead and take this box out from underneath it. All right, so we got this, we got the two 10 mils off the bracket. To get this off, guys, the intake hose, you're gonna twist it towards you and wiggle it off and pull it right up towards you, just like that. So here's the slave cylinder, guys, right here. I gotta go ahead and take those, I believe they're 12 mils off, so you got one two right there and we're gonna undo that from the fork which is right there I'm gonna go ahead and remove the slave cylinder now so these are both 12 millimeter bolts on the top so there goes the slave slave is off just grab this bolt I'm gonna take you guys back here where the clutch master cylinder lies. Now, if you follow this black hose right here up into that corner, you'll see it right there. That's where it is. All right, guys, the CMC is out officially. It was kind of a bitch to do, I'm not gonna lie. The easiest way to do it is to obviously make sure everything's unclamped including your hard line and once you get back there you kind of got to just keep turning it gently and um you know just don't rush it just you got to work with it back there and i couldn't film because it was wicked tight so you'll understand what i'm talking about when you go to do it so next we're going to go ahead and unplug this clutch fluid line from the reservoir um, off of this old cmc so we can uh, mount it onto the new one well, out with the old in with the new. So guys, I was going to use this black K-tuned line that came with the uh, CMC, but I decided that the regular silver stainless steel looks way better. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. All right, so guys, for the clutch line install, I have the uh, Valix Racing one, and it literally tells you everything right here. So you want to have your 90 degree angle on top of the fitting here okay and then i use a little bit of never seize on the studs right here and then this simply just goes right into the slave cylinder like that so it's pretty basic the 17 right here at the bottom and you have a 12 millimeter and a 14 millimeter you need to tighten so guys as you can see i have my slave cylinder back there and then here's the new clutch line. So much easier to get that thing back there with a flexible clutch line. So if this video was helpful, give me a like, shoot a comment down below if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to help you out with. So I want you all to stay tuned for the review of how the K-Tune CMC drives.